Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway Channel. Today, I will discuss with you the gastrointestinal stromal tumors, and the abbreviation is GIST. And um, to start with, uh, I want to give a hint about the WHO classification for such uh, tumors. They are classified under the mesenchymal tumors of the GI tract. We are at the 2.5 uh, X. And just to orient ourselves, so we have here the four layers of the GI tract, which is first the mucosae and the lamina propria, which is in between. And then we have this thin layer of the muscularis mucosae, and then submucosa, and then we will go for the bulky muscularis propria. Before I will move from uh, this uh, uh, field, I just want you to know that the stromal or the gastrointestinal stromal tumors, they arise from the interstitial cells of Kajal, which is present in the muscularis or in between the muscularis propria. So we will uh, uh, expect that this tumor will arise and will be confined to the muscularis propria, or if it is uh, uh, it went uh, bigger in size, then it can encroach the uh, submucosae or the um, uh, serosal layer. So now I will go to the muscularis propria, and I hope you can appreciate these thick bundles of muscles. So now we know that we are uh, approaching or we are uh, seeing the muscularis propria. And through this muscularis propria, we can see this mass, which will start. I will move the field to show you more about this mass. But I just wanted to confirm that this mass arises uh, uh, in between the muscularis uh, propria. So this is the mass that we have. And let's go for a brief description on the low power. So on the low power here, we will we just can see that we have this big mass um, is present uh, in the in between the muscularis propria. It's uh, blue in color, and we can't identify whether these cells they are rounded, they are spindle shaped cells. So we will go on higher power to appreciate them more. So from this power, we are at the 20x. As you can see here, we have these cells that are spindle shaped. We can see these elongated nuclei and they are all monomorphic. This is very important because in the gastrointestinal stromal tumors, mostly we will have a monomorphic appearance of these um, mesenchymal cells or these spindle shaped cells. And by the way, sometimes they can be epithelioid in shape, or it can be mixed, spindle-shaped and epithelioid type. Uh, let's move around to appreciate uh, more of these cells. So as you can see, all fields, they have this spindle-shaped cells. Maybe in some areas it's a bit rounded, but mostly they are uh, spindle-shaped. And the most important, we don't find atypical cells. Sometimes you uh, might find um, uh, some lymphocytic infiltration in these spindle cells, and this is a um, normal finding. And sometimes it might be brisk uh, lymphocytic infiltration. So maybe in this area, you can find these RBCs and some uh, lymphocytes. Sorry, it's present at a different uh, level. So um, we are not 100% um, in focus. Here you might find also some uh, pleomorphic nuclei, but again, it's all uh, within the range that we expect. Here you can find some maybe lymphocytes and don't mistake them for um, uh, mitosis. As the uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumors, the most common uh, primary mesenchymal neoplasm of the GI tract and it's composed of these spindle-shaped cells, you might mistake in them, or the differential diagnosis will be tumors uh, coming out from um, smooth muscles like leiomyomas, uh, leiomyosarcomas, maybe from the nerves like neurofibromas or uh, schwannomas. So you need to put some uh, stains to identify these uh, cells. So this is the differential diagnosis. And for the stains, we will use the CD117. 
and the dog one, they are positive in these cases. And maybe CD34, it's positive in majority of cases, maybe more than 70% of cases will be positive for CD34. Uh, molecular wise, uh, these tumors, they have in again, majority of cases, mutations in the kit and the B, uh, PD, uh, GFRA um, uh, genes. I hope you enjoyed uh, this brief uh, video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel to view more videos. Thank you.